Skills Builder for Young Learners Movers 2 by Jenny Dooley Copyright Express Publishing All Rights Reserved Hello, this is Skills Builder for Young Learners, Movers 2, Unit 3. Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now, look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this photo, Uncle Jim. It's a trip I went on with my friend's family on Saturday. What's your friend's name? It's Daisy. Can you see her? She's in front of the table. Is she wearing clothes like a pirate? That's right. She loves dressing up. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Look at that boy throwing the basketball. That's Fred. He's very good at sports, I think. Yes, he loves playing sports. 2. Is that boy your friend's brother? Which boy? He's standing under the tree. Oh yes, he's playing with a bat. Yes, who's he? That boy's name is Charlie. He's Daisy's cousin. Three. Who is that woman who's got glasses? You mean the one riding the bike? Yes. What's her name? She's Daisy's mum. Her name's Zoe. I like riding my bike. Me too. Four. And is that your friend's dad? The one holding the lemonade? Yes. Yes, that's Daisy's dad. He's called Peter. There's lots of lemonade. I know. Everyone was thirsty. Five. And look at that girl. Where? She's in the centre of the picture. Oh, that's Mary. She's dancing. We had some great music. What a nice trip. Now, listen to part one again. One. Look at that boy throwing the basketball. That's Fred. He's very good at sports, I think. Yes. He loves playing sports. 2. Is that boy your friend's brother? Which boy? He's standing under the tree. Oh yes, he's playing with a bat. Yes, who's he? That boy's name is Charlie. He's Daisy's cousin. 3. Who is that woman who's got glasses? You mean the one riding the bike? Yes, what's her name? She's Daisy's mum. Her name's Zoe. I like riding my bike. Me too. Four. And is that your friend's dad? The one holding the lemonade? Yes. Yes, that's Daisy's dad. He's called Peter. There's lots of lemonade. I know. Everyone was thirsty. Five. And look at that girl. Where? She's in the centre of the picture. Oh, that's Mary. She's dancing. We had some great music. What a nice trip. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Peter, 
I want to plant some flowers in the garden. Can I help, Grandma? I love planting flowers. Okay, let's go out to the garden. Great. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Can we start with the blue flowers? Go and get a sweater first. Why do I need a sweater? Because it's very cold today. Go and put one on. Okay. Two. What's this white flower called, Grandma? It's a daisy. Like the girl's name, Daisy. Yes, D A I S Y. I have a friend in school with that name. Three. Peter, how many yellow flowers did we plant? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. There are lots. Yes, we planted nineteen. Nineteen yellow flowers. That is a lot. Well done. Four. Grandma, I'm hungry now. Okay, let's go to the kitchen and have something to eat. Can we have burgers? Sorry, I don't have any. I made some pasta this morning. Wow, I love pasta. Five. I made some pancakes too. You're the greatest grandma in the world. I thought you didn't like them. Well, chocolate cake is my favorite, but I like pancakes too. Come on, I'm hungry too. Let's eat. Now. Listen to part two again. One. Can we start with the blue flowers? Go and get a sweater first. Why do I need a sweater? Because it's very cold today. Go and put one on. Okay. Two. What's this white flower called, Grandma? It's a daisy. Like the girl's name, Daisy. Yes, D A I S Y. I have a friend in school with that name. Three, Peter. How many yellow flowers did we plant? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. There are lots. Yes, we planted nineteen. Nineteen yellow flowers. That is a lot. Well done. Four, Grandma, I'm hungry now. Okay, let's go to the kitchen and have something to eat. Can we have burgers? Sorry, I don't have any. I made some pasta this morning. Wow, I love pasta. Five. I made some pancakes too. You're the greatest grandma in the world. 
I thought you didn't like them. Well, chocolate cake is my favourite, but I like pancakes too. Come on, I'm hungry too. Let's eat. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Alice is telling Mr. Coates about the animals she has on her clothes. Which animal is there on each of her clothes? Alice, every day you wear clothes with animals on them. Yes, you're right, Mr. Coates. Today I'm wearing a sweater with a polar bear on it. I went to the zoo last weekend and I bought it at the shop there. Can you see the letter B? Now you listen. And write a letter in each box. I think you had an animal on the T-shirt you wore yesterday too. No, I didn't wear a T-shirt yesterday. It was a shirt with lots of bees on it. It's my favourite one. Oh yes, it's really funny. And look down here, I've got animals on my socks too. Wow. Where did you get those? They're from a clothes shop in the city centre. My dad likes whales, so he bought them for me. My feet are never cold when I wear them. Have you got something with your favourite animal on it? Well, yesterday I wanted to buy a baseball cap with a dolphin on it. That's my favourite animal, but I didn't have any money. But your scarf has one, doesn't it? Yes, that's right. It was a present from my mum. You're the only person I know with penguins on their clothes. Are you talking about my jeans? Yes, I really like them. I always wear them in winter when it's cold. They're great. I don't see an animal on your jacket. You're wrong, Mr. Coates. Look, there's a picture of a giraffe on the back. I think all of my clothes have animals on them today. Oh, I see it now. Now listen to part three again. I think you had an animal on the T-shirt you wore yesterday too. No, I didn't wear a T-shirt yesterday. It was a shirt with lots of bees on it. It's my favourite one. Oh yes, it's really funny. And look down here, I've got animals on my socks too. Wow, where did you get those? They're from a clothes shop in the city centre. My dad likes whales, so he bought them for me. My feet are never cold when I wear them. Have you got something with your favourite animal on it? Well, yesterday I wanted to buy a baseball cap with a dolphin on it. That's my favourite animal. But I didn't have any money. But your scarf has one, doesn't it? Yes, that's right. It was a present from my mum. You're the only person I know with penguins on their clothes. Are you talking about my jeans? Yes, I really like them. I always wear them in winter when it's cold. They're great. I don't see an animal on your jacket. You're wrong, Mr. Coates. Look, there's a picture of a giraffe on the back. I think all of my clothes have animals on them today. Oh, I see it now. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen. And look, there is one example. What did Lucy draw for homework? 
Homework was fun today. Look, I drew a picture. Is that a snake? No, it's a toothbrush. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a tail. No, I've got one like that with a funny monster on it. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. How old is Charlie's house? Dad, how old is our house? Well, Charlie, it's older than me, and I'm forty-seven. Wow, is it one hundred? No, my dad built it. Your grandpa. It's seventy years old. Two. Whose pencil was on the floor? Jim, I told you to be careful with your things. No, Mister Sand, that's not Jim's pencil. It's mine. Well, Fred, I found it on the floor. Sorry, I dropped it when Matt asked me to help him with his drawing. Okay, here you are. Three. Who was Tom with at the beach? Look at this photo I took, Aunt Sally. Wow, that's a really big bird. Yes, I saw it on the beach. I went there yesterday with my brother. Well done, Tom. Now let's go. You have a football game at two o'clock with your friend Mary. Four. What did Anna get on her holidays? Where did you find that alien, Anna? In a nice little shop when I was on holidays. It was in the town centre. It's very cool. Thanks. It's something for holding my pens and pencils. I love it. Five. Where did Jane find the pen? Look what I found, Uncle Peter. It's a pen. It's got stars on it. Oh, where did you find that, Jane? On the street? No, I played in the garden, and then I went to the bathroom to wash my hands. I saw it in the bath. I think it's your brother's. He always puts things in the wrong place. I think you're right. Now listen to part four again. One. How old is Charlie's house? Dad, how old is our house? Well, Charlie, it's older than me, and I'm forty-seven. Wow, is it one hundred? No, my dad built it. Your grandpa. It's seventy years old. Two. Whose pencil was on the floor? Jim, I told you to be careful with your things. No, Mister Sand, that's not Jim's pencil. It's mine. Well, Fred, I found it on the floor. Sorry, I dropped it when Matt asked me to help him with his drawing. Okay, here you are. Three. Who was Tom with at the beach? Look at this photo I took, Aunt Sally. Wow, that's a really big bird. Yes, I saw it on the beach. I went there yesterday with my brother. Well done, Tom. Now let's go. You have a football game at two o'clock with your friend Mary. Four. What did Anna get on her holidays? Where did you find that alien, Anna? In a nice little shop when I was on holidays. It was in the town center. It's very cool. Thanks. It's something for holding my pens and pencils. I love it. Five. Where did Jane find the pen? Look what I found, Uncle Peter. It's a pen. It's got stars on it. Oh, where did you find that, Jane? On the street? No, I played in the garden, and then I went to the bathroom to wash my hands. I saw it in the bath. I think it's your brother's. 
He always puts things in the wrong place. I think you're right. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Let's color this picture of a bathroom. Okay, I think this is a picture of a family before they go to bed. Look, the girl's brushing her teeth. That's right. Do you see the towel the little boy has in his hand? Yes. Color it purple, please. Can you see the purple towel? This is an example. Now you listen and color and write. One. Can I color the chair now? Yes, the one with the towels on it. Can I make it green? Yes, that's a nice color for a chair. Thanks. Two. Now I'd like you to color the toothbrush, the one the girl is holding. No, the one in the cup. Color it with your blue pencil, please. Okay. Look, there's a picture of a sun on the cup too. Yes, that's right. Three. I like the woman's hair. It's very long. That's right. Now I'd like you to color the toy whale. The one near the woman's feet. No, the one on the chair. It's next to the boy. Color it gray. Okay. Four. Can I do some writing? Yes. I'd like you to write the word shower. Where? On the shower door? No. Write it on the wall above the window. Okay. Five. Can I color the boy's teddy bear? Okay. Would you like to make it yellow? Can I make it brown? I've got one like that too. Okay. That's a good idea. Thanks. Now listen to part five again. One. Can I color the chair now? Yes, the one with the towels on it. Can I make it green? Yes, that's a nice color for a chair. Thanks. Now I'd like you to color the toothbrush, the one the girl is holding. No, the one in the cup. Color it with your blue pencil, please. Okay. Look, there's a picture of a sun on the cup too. Yes, that's right. Three. I like the woman's hair. It's very long. That's right. Now 
I'd like you to colour the toy whale. The one near the woman's feet? No, the one on the chair. It's next to the boy. Colour it grey. OK. Four. Can I do some writing? Yes. I'd like you to write the word shower. Where? On the shower door? No. Write it on the wall above the window. OK. Five. Can I colour the boy's teddy bear? OK. Would you like to make it yellow? Can I make it brown? I've got one like that too. OK. That's a good idea. That is the end of Movers 2, Unit 3.